Welcome back to Combatants Will Be Dispatched Anime Review, episode number 5. This I'm reviewing the 7th episode of this series, which is called The Connor's Marriage Girl. This one is taken from the first chapter of book 2 for the series. Yep. Mostly put what happens in this episode. Okay. We start off with Six have a conversation with the Ice Queen, where she basically also reports the fact that this group's with cute, cute women, and also like the fact he's showing them just one mutant, which is basically Tiger Man. Oh yeah, in case you're curious, still does he play a role in book two? No, no, he doesn't. He's just there just for the first chapter. He doesn't really do very much at all. And then later on, of course, he is like. Let me show you why they call me the Zipper Man. And they, she proceeds to pull down the zipper. And it's implied he pulled out his dick in front of her. Yep. A woman that actually has thing for him. And she probably has no problem seeing his groin. Nope. And then later on we see Six having a sparring match with Tiger Man. That is serious what this guy's name is. And, he's, and of course Six is using one of Snow's swords. Snow mentions later on, she took a five-year loan on this damn sword just to pay it off because she's obsessed with collecting swords. And of course, Alice is there. They fight briefly, and then the sword snaps. And says, Alice, like, why don't you go back together? And of course, apparently part of his sword gets snapped off too. And then as a replacement for, well, making him a bogus lie about the sword running right away and snapping, thanks for the Demon King, Tiger Man just gives her his, gives her his sword. And then she says, rub it up against them. And, and basically, here's how I should point out, though, in the light novel, they cut this out of the anime, where he says, stop rubbing my chest. That's serious what Tiger Man says. And they apparently have a mission off screen. And, of course, they have beer later in the course. So, basically, Snow is hired by Alice to do some research on a particular food. So, they go out to the jungle to basically check out with these giant bugs. Then, of course, one of them gets gets there as sort of a territory for one of the creatures for us. Six runs away, and making friends with one of the creatures, and then, of course, the creature is killed by, I think, Alice, and ended up soy sauce on it. And then, of course, well, Grim mentions the whole thing about the stuff related to the occult, and she wants to do some research. And I'm like, okay. And she does, and she summons... Like, apparently it's supposed to be an evil spirit. They actually, like, they actually got another line out of here related to what, what Demon says. By the way, it's a purple skin female demon. Which, I think this is what the demon looks like. And by the way, what Alice does with the demon in the action anime. Yeah, she did this both in the book and in the manga. Where she's this whole disbelieving thing uh, about the thing. So she summons it. First, apparently, she summons, like, oh, buy a bunch of, basically, a rabbit. And she's like, nah, give these meat instead. And he summons the demon. And Grant says, oh, yeah, give me a harem. And about the Grand the Witch, and, of course, Alice, of course, has a, basically, a wish for her. Create two of the plants. Of course, she gets greedy. And then, apparently, the female demon transforms into a male demon. Since the creative demon's, like, he flicks my toilet, and he just runs away. But that's this funny thing where she's him to wrap, like, take the sheet that the, the magic circles put on. Just simply fold up, maybe can do it. And she does it, like, a couple times. And eventually, of course, the demon goes away. Oh, yeah, they also cut up the whole thing about, oh, some of the soul devil and... Yes... Can I help you? I'm a little busy, Oliver. <laughs> my nephew, my young nephew, is like coming here. So they basically just all walk off and just call it a day. And the whole thing with the whole thing, like meow, apparently just think it'd be charm for the girls. And well, that's pretty much it for it. Yeah. Of course, then we have sort of a Zoom call, of course. He, Six basically frequently asks for more help, but the thing is, he's basically just giving a single mutant. They say the reason why is because the superheroes are planning a big offensive. Yes, this is true to the actual book itself. They did try to do this. They mentioned they lost a big, humongous counter strike against uh, the Cockroach Corporation. And apparently, all they can send him basically is just Tiger Man. They do send more agents by book three. Yeah, they actually have a couple more combat agents. 
Yeah, because I read the book three. Uh, I haven't read book four yet, but I have read the first three books right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, as for episode eight coming next week, who the heck knows? Yep. But it was a pretty good episode. Basically, of course, next week begins the actual plot of book two. Where the weirdness happens. <laughs> where Six runs to Helene. And this happens in the book and in the manga. Where first thing he does sees her. Starts groping her. Gets lots of E points. First thing, can you stop groping me? I thought that was so funny. Of course, I, I like his humor. Yep. So yeah, that's it for the view. Say to my other views today, which would be My Hero Academia, Bought One Piece, and Bar to along with two comic corners. Yep. See you next video. Bye.